How's it going everybody? I'm going to show you a crunch to scissor kick. So we're going to have our legs wide, like, you know, like scissors, open scissor blades, and we're going to be down on the ground. All right, here's a side view here. So legs are spread, and then our hands are going to be in, behind our head, and we're going to do a sit up. So we breathe in, breathe out, tighten the core, sit up, legs together. Breathe in, breathe out, legs together. If you want to make it really hard, keep your legs up the whole time and right? If you're still in strength building mode or maybe your back or your neck hurts, right? Which is, or you just want to work with strategy, right? Put your legs and your head on the ground each rep, right? Breathe in, breathe out, hold down, right? This doesn't make anyone weak. This is actually, this is a lot more strategy. Most of the clients who just assume it's this all the time, they are the ones who, who don't really pay attention to detail. The people who are always trying to have the hardest workout possible are the same people who don't take the details seriously. So this is a detail that matters because if you did it this way every time, and you do this correctly, proper breathing and everything, it might even be more effective than someone who's just trying to do this with their legs and arms floated the entire time. Just because you're making it harder for yourself does not mean it's necessarily a better workout. So strategy. But some people know, like, you know, like someone who, who has experience like I do will know when to up the challenge and when not to, right? So that's two ways of doing crunch scissor kicks.